This is TY back with another video and today I wanted to talk about well I had a variety of topics to talk about I was gonna do a separate video but I figured I'd just do it all all in one video so um, it was one video I didn't get a chance to talk about and um, and that is the King coming back that is Deontay Wilder coming back to fight uh, Robert Hellenius uh, October 15th um, Man, I'm excited for this fight. Um, I'm excited that Wilder decided to come back. Um, you know, whatever decision that he had made, whether he wanted to come back or not, I was fully okay with. You know, if he decided he didn't want to come back anymore, I was cool with that. If he decided that he did want to come back, I was excited about that too. It, I'm just excited overall that he decided to come back. He's going to fight Robert Hellanius October 15th in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. So I'm excited, man. I'm 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 excited to see this fight. Uh, it's good to see Water coming back. He's coming back fast too. Um, he's been out. I think he's been out of the ring for about a year, but um, but uh, it's good to see him come back. It's good to see him. Uh, I've seen vid footage and stuff of him training, and he's looking really good. He looks like he's slimmed down. Um, that's to me. That's gonna be a. That's gonna be scary. Because a slim down Wilder is a problem. I mean, a major, major problem. Um, because of the athleticism, because of the speed, and we already know because of the power that he has, that that's going to be a huge problem for any heavyweight to deal with in the division. Um, and I, I just think that he gives everybody problems, you know. To me, he knocked out Tyson Fury in the first fight. I feel like he's, he's knocked out everyone that he's faced. In which that's to me that's a video game character. That's a that is a true old school fight night character that we used to make back in the day, especially like on the PS2 days where your guy was undefeated and he knocked everybody out. That's exactly what Wilder is. You can't ask for a better fighter than that. He definitely doesn't get the respect that he deserves because of who he is and what he's about and what he stands for. But um, but but some do love him. Like a lot of us love him. You know. And uh, and I, I truly do because I respect who he is. And um, again, I'm excited for this fight. I'm glad to see him come back. I think that if he if he wins this fight, I believe that the winner is in position to fight uh, Usyk. I I believe I could be wrong, but I think the person they're they're in line to fight Usyk. So I'm very excited. You know, if Wada can get past Robert Hellenius, then it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens next. Um, also, just uh. You know, and then it's just crazy, you know, with AJ uh, losing, um, I didn't even get to talk about that that as well, uh, Usyk and AJ. Uh, so I had Usyk winning the fight. I, I had him winning before the fight even happened. I knew that Usyk was going to win the fight. Um, but AJ did look better. You know, he did look better. He was going to the body. He did what he was supposed to do. Or maybe I did. Did I did, did I talk about it? I did talk about it. I'm tripping. So yeah, he did go. He did go to the body. He was hurting Usyk in the like in the eighth or ninth round, but then he got his his stamina ran out, and ultimately he lost the fight. We all know what happened with the outrage outside of the ring after he lost, but now they're they're calling for Wilder and AJ. But that fight should have happened years ago. We are like I, I explained in that video actually that I remember now. That yeah, he this fight should have happened years ago, and it was all because of AJ and Eddie Hearn that messed it up. You know, all they had to do was just take the fight, take the fifty million dollars, fight Wilder. It could have been, it could have been in the UK, it could have been in the US, it could have been a two fight deal, it could have been whatever. They, they the fight should have been made, it should have happened, but it didn't happen, and now they're looking to get Wilder to come back to fight AJ, but. I don't know. It just depends on what Wilder wants to do now. 
So I, I believe that now the tables have turned, you know, everybody was saying that the Eddie Hearn was saying that Wilder, he didn't know nobody in the U.S. knew who Wilder was. Well, I believe that people in the U.S. know who Wilder is now. So it's just funny how that plays out. And uh, in other news, uh, George Cambosis and Devin Haney are going to be fighting again for the second time. And it's going to be October 15th as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how that fight plays out. Um, definitely, I was definitely happy for Dev to be undisputed at 135 pounds because of all the things, the politics and the things that he had to go through. So I'm excited for him to finally come back and to show that, you know, he is where he is. And um, it's it's exciting, man, to see Devin Haney come back. So very excited for Devin to, you know, he got to go back to Russia and, and, and smash Cambosis again, which I believe he will do. Uh, I won't be surprised if he ends up stopping Cambosis this time because looking at the press conference of Cambosis, he doesn't sound confident. He's he's definitely more humble than he was the first time around. Um, so it definitely be interesting to see uh, what's going to happen next in that fight. But I, I believe Devin's going to win that fight. I believe Dev is, you know, Dev is that guy. And it's very funny that um, a lot of these guys are not wanting to fight Devin Haney, you know. I'm not understanding why they don't want to fight him, you know. So, yeah, I'm excited about the Devin Haney, George Cambosis fight. I think Dev is going to take this one again. I think that this one is going to be the same way as it was the first time. Like I said, it could possibly be a stoppage on this this next fight. I believe that Dev is just too skilled. And what he did in the first fight, he used his jab. He was able to neutralize and take away anything that George Cambosis was trying to do. You could tell that George Cambosis was trying to land that that big right. Well, he was trying to land the right hand on Dev, but Dev wasn't wasn't allowing him to do that. And so also... Um, it was funny that, you know, Cambosis had even said in the press conference um, here recently that he said that, you know, hopefully it'll be a more exciting fight. He said hopefully that the refs will make Dev stop holding and stuff. But, you know, it's funny because I didn't really see Dev do any of that. He just did what he was supposed to do, and that was win. He clinched, but that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hit, and then you just the, the name of the game is to hit and not get hit. And also... It was it was George Cambosis that was doing a lot of the holding and he was doing a lot of uh, holding that was unnecessary. And he was trying to pull Dev's arm and do all types of stuff. So I don't understand where Cambosis is talking about when it comes to making it more exciting. I mean, it's up to George Cambosis to make adjustments, which he didn't do in the first fight. You can tell in his face that he was clearly frustrated and he knew that he had, he had no chance against Dev. You can see it in his face. Even in the middle and late rounds, you can tell he had no hope. He had no chance. And you can tell it now in his face. And he even said that if he loses again, he was going to retire. So, I mean, he to me, he doesn't have the same confidence or the confidence that he had when in the first fight or coming into the first fight. Um, he, he also missed weight in, in the fight against Dev. Um, he was talking about it was a war attack. It was a war tactic. It was it was a strategy. It's the art of war and all this other stuff. But again, I, I see Dev doing the same exact thing that he did to to Cambosis the first time. So I, I definitely got Dev winning the fight and hands down. And like I said, I'm not going to be surprised if he ends up stopping Dev. And then another thing I wanted to talk about, which is still in the same division, but it's just funny, man, that. With Dev having these belts, I'm not seeing nobody, nobody call Dev out. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing no smoke from none of these guys. Nothing from Tank, nothing from Teofimo Lopez, nothing from Ryan Garcia, not even Roley, Roley Romero. Um, all these guys <laughs> had everything to say about Dev. And called him an email champ and, you know, saying that he doesn't, he doesn't, uh, you know, who is he and he doesn't have a fan base. Nobody know who he is, this type of stuff. Okay, the guy is undisputed now. He has all the belts. Nobody. I've never seen this before. I've never seen, uh, 
I've never seen guys not want smoke with a champion. I've never seen this ever. Nobody wants smoke with Devin Haney at 135. Guys are moving up in weight, like Tiafimo Lopez, for example. The man literally moved up to 140 because he says that he can't make 135. But I just feel like, <laughs> to me, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like he can make 135. He just doesn't want to make 135. That's just my opinion, because when he weighed in against uh, Campa, he was 138 pounds. That's only three pounds. So you're telling me you can't make 135? No, I think he can make 135. He just don't want to make 135. And then Ryan Garcia, the same way. Um, these guys, it's funny, man. These guys have avoided Dev. They talk bad about Dev. They laughed at this, laughed at him and said, oh, he's not this. He's not that. He doesn't bring anything to the table. He can't sell. He's an email champion. But yet, as soon as he gets the belts, no one's stepping up to say, hey, I'm, I want to fight him. And it's just funny. And it's going to be even more funny if that if once Dev decides, you know what, I'm ready to move up to 140. It's going to be funny to see what's going to happen next. I see a lot of these guys going to jump right back down to 135. Oh, I can make 135 now. Or uh, they're going to do whatever they can to get those belts. Once Dev decides, you know what, I don't want to fight at 135 anymore. I want to fight at 140. But it's just funny that, you know, they had labeled these guys the four kings. Dev is doing everything he can to be that. He's trying to be great. But the other three guys that I just mentioned, Tank, uh, Ryan Garcia, Teofimo Lopez, those guys have ran away from Dev. And this was supposed to be the most exciting division, you know, exciting division, you know, because you had all this talent in this weight class, but none of these guys are fighting each other. And it's not on Dev's, it's not Dev's fault because Dev is trying to make those fights. But these guys, these three, especially these three, is, I hate to say it, but it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's sad. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just not it's not good because these guys are still young, but they don't want to fight each other. Like I said, this has nothing to do with Dev because Dev is trying to do everything he can to fight these guys. But these guys don't want to fight each other. And that's a huge problem. And that's the reason why boxing is the way it is today. Um, and it's not just them. It's other fighters as well, you know. So, um, but this, this is all I wanted to talk about today. I definitely wanted to touch touch bases about the Wilder situation because I'm definitely excited about Wilder coming back. Wilder is one of my favorites, so I'm excited for him to come back. I can't wait till he comes back. I can't wait to see what he looks like. I'm definitely ordering the pay-per-view for sure. I'm definitely going to do that. So definitely going to do that. I'm definitely excited to see him fight Robert Hellenius. I definitely want to see what he looks like. I definitely want to see what happens to, if he wins this fight, which I believe he will. I think it's going to be in a devastated knockout fashion because anytime he ever goes to the Barclay Center, he always delivers the most memorable knockout. So I believe he's going to continue that, um, continue that, uh, that fashion and that trend. So definitely excited about that. I'm excited for Dev. They also, uh, also Dev and, and Water are fighting on the same, same night, I believe. So I'm excited for Dev as well. You know, I definitely see he's going to destroy George Cambosis, I don't think it's going to be, it's going to be, it's, it's, it's just going to be the same thing. If anything, like I said, I won't be surprised if Dev this time stops George Cambosis because I just don't believe in George Cambosis. He just already looks defeated. He already looks like he doesn't, he don't even want, he don't even want to take this fight, but he don't have no choice. So I definitely got Dev winning this fight. And then, like I said about the other little guy, the other guys, the Ryans, the Tanks, the Tios. These guys are clowns, man. I hate to say it, but it's it's just ridiculous that these guys don't want to fight each other. They can't seem to make the fights happen. They do all this talking on Twitter, but yet they don't want to get in the ring with Dev. They keep running around him or act like he's not even he's not like he's invisible or something. Like he doesn't <laughs> like he's not there. But they got to respect him because he is undisputed. Unlike uh He's the real undisputed champion, not not Teofimo Lopez. He, Teofimo Lopez never was undisputed, and neither was George Cambosis. It is Devin Haney. So that's all I wanted to say on these topics. But uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and listen, we're 20 subscribers away. We are 20 subscribers away from getting 1K. 
So I'm just I'm I'm asking y'all, man, if y'all know anybody that know anybody, man, please uh, help the you know help subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. I, I appreciate the ones the ones that have already supported and uh, that has liked the videos, that has subscribed to the channel. I appreciate that. And I just want to be able just please just we only 20 more away. I'm only asking for 20 more subscribers and to get the 1k. That's my goal. I want to try to get to that so I can, you know, definitely be monetized for sure. I think we have to get uh our hours as well. So I'm just if you guys can subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment down below, let me know what you guys think about these fights that's coming up between Dev and and Cambosis and Wilder and and Robert Hellanius. And uh, again, thank you all. Thank you all for the ones that have subscribed. Thank you all for the ones that have supported. I cannot, I can't say it enough. I, I really appreciate it. And I thank you guys for that. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.